rider uh, Katie obviously swept the regional champ uh, titles at the cross country uh, regional meet. Uh, as a boys team going to state this week, what's kind of the mindset? What's the approach that you guys have as, as a team? Well, yeah, we, we we've been developing slowly throughout the whole year. We've been performing good, but you know, regionals wasn't even a hundred percent. I would say regionals probably seventy percent because a lot of guys on our team had bad days because of the heat, not preparing for the race well. So, you know, we're going in the state trying to surprise people. Um, uh, people aren't really expecting us to contend for the podium, but I think we very well have a good shot because we've been comparing the numbers. But yeah, we're just going in with the underdog mindset to try to surprise people. You guys have a team of juniors and seniors. That experience, how do you think that helps this time of year in the postseason? I mean, yeah, when I first got here, I was a freshman and I was running on varsity and we had a really young team. We couldn't even make it out of districts and like as the years went by, last year was better when we had guys like David Caldwell come from Stratford. He was a big addition. And then this year, we've, we're just even better now because we've had people developing and it's really helping right now because these guys are finally like figuring out how to race. So we can go in with that kind of experience as other schools would have younger kids that don't have that race experience yet. The team success, is that a matter of y'all just experience and just growing together or do you think there's more to anything else that makes this team special? Uh, yeah, that's a big part of it, but really just holding each other accountable and like we're all like such good friends We see each other all the time. So we know how each other we run. We know how we run together And you know, we push each other in workouts to do better uh, Your dad's the head coach. What's that like to kind of have your dad as a head coach and to have this kind of success with him as well? Yeah, uh, there's pluses plus sides and downsides, but I'd say overall it's, it's um, pretty positive for me Because I get to see him all the time. He gets to tell me what I need to be doing at home to prepare and otherwise hold me accountable. Also, it can be not very fun when he's yelling at me, but I know it's gonna help me out and I know he's the, the best coach for me right now, so. You on district? Yes. And uh, second at regionals? Yes, regionals wasn't too good for me, but I mean, I still came through a second, so. What did you, add, for you individually, what did you learn from regionals maybe that you might take going into the state meet? The biggest thing I learned is preparing my body in the days before because I kind of neglected it a little bit and didn't really think about it. I wasn't doing the stuff I needed to. And then when the race came, my body wasn't really prepared to go put it all out there, which is what I needed to do. So I'm making sure that I prepare every day, weeks before stay to make sure that I'm 100% so I can give everything I have. The preparation and training it takes to become a championship level type program that you guys have, what goes into that? The workouts and the practices and even what your dad does, his methods, what works to where you guys are where you are today? Uh, the, the, really the training plan that we have is, is not really like all the other training plans. He doesn't really read from a book. Okay. It, he, he has his own, I've told him plenty of times, like joking around, you need to write your own book. Because <laughs> like the workouts we do, yeah. not nobody else does them, but they work really well for our type of runners. We have a different type of runner. We have a bunch of tough runners. Our guys are different than the other guys. So whenever we get to hard courses like region and state with a lot of hills, our guys just eat that up because they're tough runners. That's how we run.